Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're addressing the parts of the old law which remain valid and grave today, the Ten Commandments. So far, we've talked about the first seven commandments, and now it's time for the eighth. Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. However, does the Eighth Commandment also forbid hypocrisy? Well, the Catechism suggests something of the kind. Truth, as uprightness, in human action and speech, is called truthfulness, sincerity, or candor. Truth or truthfulness is the virtue which consists in showing oneself true in deeds and truthful in words, and in guarding against duplicity, dissimulation, and hypocrisy. Catechism of the Catholic Church, paragraph 2468. Just by refusing to bear false witness against our neighbors, we embrace a commitment to authentic truth. And if we're committed to authentic truth, we should be opposed to hypocrisy, which means acting contrary to how you need or want others to treat you. A hypocrite can be a murderer who doesn't want to be murdered, a thief who doesn't want to be stolen from, a liar who doesn't want to be lied to, and so on. In fact, in the second season, I suggested that all moral sins share the common thread of hypocrisy and can largely be traced back to it. When people do whatever they want without thinking about how things should be and what they should be doing, they often stumble into hypocrisy, even getting indignant with others for trying to teach you something while you try to teach them is a form of hypocrisy. It's often that simple. Of course, hypocrisy is always a moral contradiction, so of course it's contrary to the truth, since contradictions can't be true. The circumstances make hypocrisy a contradiction, and therefore the circumstances make it a deception as well, even if it's not your intention to deceive people this way. Therefore, being a hypocrite is against the Eighth Commandment, and depending on the type of hypocrisy, it may be against any of the others as well. Next time, what does the Eighth Commandment say about keeping secrets? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.